The HIV window period refers to the time between potential exposure to the virus and when HIV tests can accurately detect the infection. During this period, the body may not have produced enough antibodies or antigens to be detected by standard HIV tests. The window period can vary depending on the type of test used. To determine your own HIV window period, it's important to understand the different types of tests and their respective window periods. Antibody tests. These tests look for antibodies produced by the immune system in response to HIV infection. The window period for antibody tests can range from a few weeks to three months, depending on the individual's immune response. Most people develop detectable antibodies within four to six weeks after infection. However, it's recommended to wait at least three months after potential exposure to get an accurate result. Antigen tests. Antigen tests detect the presence of specific HIV antigens, which are viral proteins produced by the immune system during the early stages of infection. These tests have a shorter window period compared to antibody tests and can detect HIV infection within two to four weeks after exposure. Nucleic acid tests, NATS, these tests directly detect the genetic material, RNA, of the HIV virus. NATS have the shortest window period and can detect HIV as early as 10 to 14 days after exposure. However, these tests are more expensive, time-consuming, and less commonly used for routine HIV screening. To determine your specific window period, it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional or an HIV testing center. They will assess your risk factors, potential exposure, and recommend the appropriate test based on the time elapsed since exposure. They can also provide guidance on testing schedules and advise you on post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, or other preventive measures if necessary. Remember that HIV testing is confidential, and healthcare providers are trained to provide support and counseling throughout the process. If you suspect recent exposure to HIV or have concerns about your HIV status, it's essential to seek professional medical advice.